Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. Today is probably, I won't say never ever, but this could be my last Masters of the Universe Masterverse figure. Man at Arms, uh, new attorney of Man at Arms. I've bought a lot of figures from Masters of the Universe Masterverse. I've liked them, but I've also never been a completionist and I will say the Ram Man kind of, when I started seeing the problems people were having with Ram Man, I went, whoa, and I kind of stepped back for a bit, and I was just like, I think I'm going to stop with this line. Um, the one thing I did say, though, is if they do a new attorney of Man at Arms, I will grab that, and so here he is, Man at Arms. And, I mean, articulation is what you expect. Pinless joints, double, you know, double um, arms and double legs, all that fun stuff. You know, all the stuff we expect. There's no surprises here. I like the details on his armor like that. And the cross swords on his shoulder. I like that they gave him some flexibility with this armor arm joint here um, but it does have some issues it keeps trying to grab on hold on so it's not perfect but it's an improvement he's got his big club here which is really <laughs> club I, I should say mace Jesus I know better I know some things about medieval weapons um, and it's really nice it's actually got some detail to it I mean the, the top here is different than the rest of it so, you know, it's not like it's just one color, and they could have got away with that very easily. So, I like that extra bit to it. Now, in the new packaging, they've gone this route, so they're taking a page out of Hasbro. So, let's see what the accessories are really quick. Now, do I hate this? Nah, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, but, you know, that's not going to keep me going with Masterverse. It's just not the way I'm doing it. Okay. So, huh, that's interesting. Oh, no, there's some hands in there. All right, let's go over this. First off, there's a swappable head. Looks like just a... Looks like it could be just a regular old guard's head. Yeah. Oh, shit. Um, and a different helmet. Hmm. Does the helmet come off? I didn't even notice. Let me see if the helmet comes off. I'm going to take it off camera for a second. Oh, wow. Okay. So, the helmets come off. I didn't even realize. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, and you can switch out. Oh, shit. You can switch out this helmet with this helmet. I think you can anyway. It looks like you should be able to. Well, if it'll ever accept the helmet. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Wow, okay. I was not expecting that. That surprised me. Um, yeah, I like this. It's more classic. Um, this looks like a guard's head, so I'm wondering if they maybe they were doing meant for this to be a guard. Um, I suppose you could argue it's the old school man, uh, man at arms head, you know, before he had the mustache. Um, uh, I don't know though, they don't look too much alike from my perspective. I don't think they do. Nose is different, definitely different. Uh, lip shapes is different, yeah. Anyway, I'm going on about that too much. I'm going on about head too much. <laughs> Imagine that. I did know about this. The You can have be become a fail. Flail. I'm sorry, flail. Um, and switch the head out. I knew about that. That's a cool option. I do like that. Um, and he's got a fist. And he's got another fist. He's got two fists, because, you know, man at arms, he can do fisticuffs, too. Anyway, I dig it. I dig it a great deal. Um, I dig the options that he comes with, and I dig that, um, you know, you're not married. I mean, I'm, I'm really glad you can swap the helmet. That, that part I did not know about, and that surprised me when, that, when the helmet fell out of the baggie. I'm not a big fan of these, but you know what? So what? It's future garbage anyway, right? That doesn't mean shit. Um, what means a lot is this figure. Um, I mean, 
I don't hate Masterverse in any way, shape, or form. I really love it. They've come with, with some great designs. Sometimes they surprise the hell out of me with some of them. I mean, some of them are completely off from that. Some of them, like the new Eternia ones, are pretty similar. Oh, and you got a place on his back to put the, f the flail. Flail. Wow, cool. You know what I mean. That's nice. I mean... I really dig it. I really like... I, I, I like what they do with these Masterverse figures. They give them more detail, make them look... I mean... I wish they kind of would put them down to 6 inch scale so that they would kind of fit in with your Joes and your other 6 inch figures, but at the same time, it's okay. But I, you know, I've never been a full on Masters of the Universe completionist. I stopped, I want to say around 86, 87. Um, I thought the line was getting stupid. There's a fun campiness to Masters of the Universe that no other line has. But every now and again, you step too far into the campiness. A prime example would be Snout Spout. I think Snout Spout is a stupid character. I just do. I think he's dumb. Um, you know, and... I mean, look at that. This is so cool. There's so much detail here. I mean, they really tried to put in detail. I like that. Um, you know, that's not to say there isn't charm to it. I mean, you can get away with that once or twice, but, you know, when it's every figure has a silly name and a silly gimmick, like it did towards the end of the line, excuse me, like it did towards the end of the line, I, um, I can't get on board. Um, and that's what happened with me and Masters of the Universe. You know, you could have some silliness like Triclops, you know, Trapjaw. Those guys work for some of that aesthetic. It didn't work for me with guys like Snout Spout and Mosquito and, you know, I mean, I could name a, name dozens of them that I look at and go, you got to be fucking kidding me. And, you know, some people say, oh, it's because you grew up. I'm like, no, I think they got silly. I think they leaned too hard into it. Um, you had a mixture of these kind of characters, like, you know, Man at Arms, which was a deathly serious, easy to identify character. I mean, it wasn't like, you know, he had to have a gimmick or anything. He was just a guy with a weapon and boom, you're ready. You know, Mechanic was fine by me. I don't want to buy a Mechanic though, but, you know, I was fine with Mechanic. I mean, some of those can uh, sprinkle that in, it works. You make it the whole line and you lose me. You just lose me. Um, and that's what happened with Masters of the Universe a long time ago. Um, and, you know, I've always been, like, you know, the 2000X line to the um, Masters of the Universe Classic line. I did not buy everything. I bought a lot of it. I do admit I bought a lot of it. But, you know, I didn't buy everything. And... Well, those are long gone. I do like getting these Masterverse. This reminds me of Master Universe Classics. And, um, you know, modern toys with the He-Man and Masters of the Universe. But it's like, I can't keep going with this. You know, the cartoon line caught me off guard just because that was what I wanted when I was a kid. With the cartoon line. So I'm going going on with that one but this um, I think this has run its course for me um, I don't bemoan it and I don't bemoan anybody continuing to collect it I am saying for myself I think this is it and I think I like it don't get me wrong and I won't say never ever ever but you know for all intents and purposes for right now this is on hiatus for me uh, this is my last master, and this is the one I really wanted. I you know, I had a he. <laughs> I started with that 40th anniversary He Man, and I said, "Where is Man in Arms?" And every Man in Arms I saw, I didn't like. It it just didn't match up, mostly because they were tied to the Revelation cartoon. And then I saw this one finally for New Attorney, and I was like, "Oh, there he is. He's here. Okay, good." Uh, you know, I I got a few of the Revelation ones for some characters. 
Uh, but for Man at Arms, I felt like it needed to be him uh, in New Eternia, and I think this works. Um, you know, the rest of the characters and I, the only one I can see me really possibly um, turning in for is Orko, if they do a Masterverse Orko. I know they did do a Masterverse Orko for, Orko for Revelation. I meant New Eternia. Uh, if I see that, I'm going to be tempted, and I may. But past that, I don't think there's anything else uh, Masterverse can offer me. Um, again, not saying never ever, but saying for now, this will probably be the end of my Masterverse collecting. I like them. I always have. Um, okay. That's going to wrap up uh, this episode of Infinite Realms. Don't forget to like and subscribe.